This is the ninth and penultimate video in a series of videos that I made on the lessons that I learned from having read or listened to 10 Swedish books in a single month, but it may be the first one you're seeing, so if you want to see the rest of the series then there will be a playlist, and if you're new here altogether then I also have a Patreon where there is other material for language learners, and if you've watched all of these then thank you for putting up with me saying that every single, every single time. Fun. In this video, I'm talking about what most took me by surprise in the month, which is how to pay more attention when listening to audiobooks. Intuition would tell us that if you're listening to an audiobook for the sake of learning a language, then you don't want to be doing anything else. You just want to be listening to the audio at the very least. Or, even better than that, you want to be, say, reading along with a text, or taking notes, writing down words you don't know, that kind of thing. But the thing about intuition, a strange this will be easier if I split listening to audiobooks into three different categories. First up, we've got lightly divided attention. That is, you're listening while you're driving or cleaning or exercising or solving a Rubik's Cube. Now, I call this lightly divided because I don't mean that you're doing anything that would completely hijack your attention. These are activities that you can do more or less automatically. Then we've got static listening. That is when you're just sitting and listening to the audio, but you're not doing anything like reading along with a text or writing things down or looking words up. And finally we've got involved listening which is where you either read along with the narration or take notes or write down words you don't recognize all that kind of stuff. So you would assume that the first category would be the worst for your attention and either the second or the third category would be the best. <laughs> Jokes on you that's completely wrong because I had a different subjective experience. While I can't say that for obvious reasons I definitely can say that I experienced it differently. I found that static listening, that is just listening and not doing anything else, made it almost impossible to focus. And this was such a consistent experience through the month that I have now written that category off. I don't use it at all. When I'm static listening, I don't care if 20 seconds into the first chapter, already a spaceship flown by a sloth is about to crash into Earth and it's up to the sloth hero to save himself and the entire sloth race. If I'm static listening, I'm already drifting off and I'm thinking about I don't know, the best value brake pads or something? When you think about it, which you should be doing now because you're watching the video, this is actually good news because static listening is the most time indulgent of these activities. Listening whilst driving or cleaning, these are better uses of time, yes, but I also found that I could pay much better attention whilst doing so. Now, I'm not a neuroscientist, shocking revelation I know, but my working theory is basically this. Subconscious thoughts, if given breathing room, will rise to the top and turn themselves into your conscious thoughts, or you might call this an internal monologue which is definitely not good if you're trying to listen to an actual monologue from an external source in a weaker language because your own monologue will be stronger. Being in the stronger language, it will drown out the other one. But if you occupy those levels of your mind with some kind of basal activity like doing a puzzle that you've done many times before or walking or driving, then that suppresses that monologue, leaving just the external source, in this case your audiobook, to take the lion's share of your attention. A peer-reviewed neurology article, this is not not a decent theory as to why this works for me, it is. Now I'm going to save my very favourite way of listening to audiobooks for the last video because it needs a whole video, but I found that one thing that really helped me concentrate on the story was to solve a Rubik's Cube. Now I don't solve them fast or anything, I don't know the advanced techniques, I just do it layer by layer as you can see, but I found that if I just solved it slowly, scrambled it up, solved it again on repeat, I could listen for about two hours straight and then tell you everything that had happened in the book back through that time. In fact, in terms of following and remembering the story, I would say that this lightly divided attention listening has now overtaken my previous favorite method of listening, which was to listen to the audiobook and follow along in the printed book at the same time. I can still do that, but I find that as I do it, I need to speed up the audio by 20 to 50% depending on how fast the narration is. Otherwise, my eyes outrun the audio and I start thinking about brake pads or whatever it is I think about. Now I know I always say that I'll do a whole video on these things and then I hardly ever do, but one day I will do a whole video on reading along with audiobooks because I've always enjoyed it and I think it's an excellent way to get started reading in a foreign language or listening to audiobooks. But the main thing I wanted to cover in this video is dispelling this idea that if you're doing something else at the same time as listening, you must be paying less attention. 
because it is intuitive, but in my experience, wrong. So if you wanna see which of these works best for you, then listen to different chapters of a book using different methods that I've mentioned here. It won't be the answer to end everything, but it will just give you an idea. Do you prefer to sit and do nothing and just listen? Do you prefer to take notes, go for a walk at the same time? So work it out for yourself. Don't just assume that you shouldn't divide your attention. Remember, if you wanna see the rest of the videos in the series, the playlist will be there. And for the last video of the series, I will be talking about my favorite way to listen to audiobooks and why I prefer it above all else. So you will see me then.